after being away from politics for two years. Peter Kenneth, the former Gatanga member of parliament, re-emerged on Saturday, April 13th. During a burial service in Gatanga constituency, Peter Kenneth urged government officials linked to fake fertilizer distribution to tender their resignation. Additionally, he cautioned the governing body of the country about their approach to addressing both the doctor strikes and excessive taxation. During the last general election, Peter Kenneth campaigned for Azimio La Umoja, but was unsuccessful. He expressed that individuals in Mount Kenya were undergoing hardship. According to him, they were raised in an environment where coffee factories received legitimate fertilizers. It is shameful for a farmer to be given counterfeit fertilizer and then tax when it cannot assist with production. Individuals that care about this matter should take prompt action by reporting it. This occurrence is humiliating and unacceptable. According to Peter Kenneth, subsistence and small-scale farmers are being misled by President William Ruto's administration with flawed fertilizers. Regarding the matter of medic strikes, Peter Kenneth commented that it is a question of basic human morality to ensure that services are accessible to those in need. He expressed regret over the fact that Kenyans were losing their lives due to being unable to access public hospitals and having no means to pay for private health care. Instead of expanding the tax base, Peter Kenneth recommended that the government focus on achieving complete compliance of current taxpayer.